Welcome back. So in this little video, we're going to start dismantling that thing. If it's in the shot, yep, it is. And we're going to go over a number of the questionable things I did. Now, to be fair, this was about a decade ago that I got this car up and running. And I don't even think it was anything I did that caused the engine to die when something falls into cylinder three. But let's start getting into all this stuff, and then we're also going to start removing all this stuff and giving it a clean canvas. So, let's go. <sighs> let's see if we can get some better light. Ah, oh, That might do it. Or it'll look distorted. Who knows? Okay, so here we are with the many things I did, and most of them I would say qualify as a mistake or poor craftsmanship or cutting corners. Let's start here. This actually is the Mega Squirt fuse box. It actually, while it looks like crap, I don't like these little uh, screw and pin things there. And then you have wires down here that like I could have if I would have known better or thought about it these wires like here are soldered into the board and then I put a connector here so I could actually you know disconnect which you know kind of worked but this board just kind of looks like crap just sits on the open there were no covers for it at the time so I didn't plan on driving in the winter so I wasn't too worried about it there, I retained the windshield washer fluid, but I just grabbed this out of a random vehicle at the junkyard, built a bracket. It worked, but this was far from a show car. Next up, we have the harness here. Just, you know, it's a harness. It's made by me, not the best. But whatever. Uh, if you notice, I just dropped something, but besides that, this fuel filter was not mounted down. All I did was threw padding on it and let it sit. The fuel rail came with the intake manifold I bought for this engine. Fuel rail and intake were fine. The injectors I ended up using were just uh, fuel injectors out of a V8 Thunderbird. Didn't have any. They were cheap. It worked. And never really had a problem with them. So, whatever. Here we have the engine. If you were to look close enough, I'm pretty sure it'll show up in there. That's the cylinder that bit it. You can see little chunks but anywho if you notice ew, let's not blind you this uh radiator that's the one i'm pretty sure it's oem or oem ish it worked but i should have got a better one uh you know this is all i could have probably done a little better connecting here but basic forward was it EIDS or EDIS or whatever? Uh, wasted spark, I think, is what it was called. So you have that. Worked well, but the problem is I never had it actually mounted to the valve cover. So another thing I plan on improving on this go around. And here is where I feel the most shame. I have all these wires going into this distribution block, but I don't have it properly mounted down. Could have been done cleaner, could have been hidden. So many things. More mistakes I made, because I kept trying to just reuse what was part of the car, because that's where money was. So we have the stock fuse block right there. We have the Ford module here for the coil on plug or wasted spark then 
I actually have this for the electric fan that you might be able to see. Yeah, there you go. This controlled the electric fan. It just ran power to it, adjusted a little screw that was right there. You know, based on, well, I did it based on, I had Mega Squirt running, hooked this up, and then more or less started adjusting based on what Mega Squirt said the temperature was. So like if it was 205, whatever, you get what I mean. More or less, I used the Mega Squirt to tell me what the temp was and then adjusted with this to have the fan come on at the right time. So, that's a lot of rambling. And I may cut, try and trim this up a little. But, yeah, I'm looking for a redemption story here. So, we're going to, yeah, we're just going to start dismantling all this crap and get the engine, the T50 transmission, yanked out. So, let's get going. And my condolences to this wonderful engine. Honestly, I feel like this engine was a great learner engine. I mean, I know people push a lot of power through them, so they're good for performance. But this thing took its abuse, took me learning a lot with it. You know, however many bad things I did. You know, just trying to figure out how to tune, and wow, these GoPro batteries do not like the cold. Anyway, great engine to learn on, also great engine to build power with, but I, yeah, I just want modern tech. So anyway, next, I'm not gonna record it, but it'll look better. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up, and even with all this snow and more snow, I'm going to clean this up, at least a little bit, some simple green shit like that. So anyway, we'll be back. Well, now it looks a little better. Still pretty dirty, but 
having to go through and remove all these things should make it a little better. Took a scraper to the cross member. Would have preferred to use a pressure washer because a lot of this would have been even more clean. But whatever. We will get that cleaned as the project goes on. Just wanted it cleaner for removing all the stuff. And then test fitting the one UZ. Uh, last I looked up, one person had to remove the brake booster. So I'm planning to potentially have to do that, but I've seen some other pictures for Toyotas where they did not have to remove the brake booster. So yeah, we'll figure that out. Another thing I'm expecting I'm probably going to do is cut the, I think it's the radiator support, even though it doesn't support anything. But I'm thinking of cutting from here to here, making plates so this can actually be bolted in. Because it's already got some support with this. So I can potentially cut it, make it a removable piece. You know, so I can remove this and when I'm doing the engine mounting and everything. It can just slide in a little easier and I can test fit and do what I need to. So, figure that out as I go. But now I will get back to collecting parts. Start working towards clean, uh, replacing the needed parts on the 1UZ. Trying to locate a transmission for the right price so on and so forth so it's really just parts gathering mock fitting things like that at this point yeah so we'll see where it takes us but anyway thanks for watching like subscribe share if you feel like uh tormenting people uh anyway thank you for watching Buh bye bye